end of May, we'll see the 100th anniversary of the Battle of Jutland, perhaps the most significant sea battle of World War I. A new exhibition will be on display at the National Museum of the Royal Navy in Portsmouth. And in it, a German gun will join that centenary show. And it's being restored at the Explosion Museum. Our reporter Shan Robbins went along to Gosport to find out more. A team of volunteers and apprentices working at the Explosion Museum have been restoring a gun due to go on display in Portsmouth Historic Dockyard later this year. The gun came from Scapa Flow and it had been there since uh, um, 1918. Uh, the gun came off a, a German destroyer uh, which was known as a B-98. Uh, the B-98 was being towed away for scrap in 1918 and uh, the tow broke and the ship ended up beached in um, Lyness in Scotland. The gun was retrieved uh, and then it was displayed in Scapa Flow and just basically painted white and left there for uh, almost 100 years. And uh, what we've done is we've restored it to our best possible uh, efforts and given the gun back some of its definition, albeit um, there's, there's uh, certain things on the gun. The barrel's very distorted because it was uh, an explosive charge was put in the barrel so it couldn't be reused. One of the team working on the gun is Rhys, an apprentice from Defence Munitions Gosport. He's developing his skill using hand tools rather than machinery. When it first came it was in a bad condition, rust and stuff like that. We started working on chipping, up, chipping off the rust and the old paint and stuff like that but it got taken away for sandblasting. Come back, um, had to be painted again put a couple of coats of paint on it and filled in some holes which were in it which they wanted to be gone, weren't not there anymore. Wolf has been a volunteer for two and a half years after retiring from a career in the Royal Navy, Industry and the Ministry of Defence. He's keen to pass his skills on and says the apprentices are a real benefit to the museum. They, uh, they come down here for a period of four months, uh, two days a week. They work alongside the volunteers. Uh, they learn a lot from the volunteers because most of us are quite old and a lot of experience. And um, yeah, they, uh, they learn things from us of how things used to be done. And, uh, and we learn how things are done today, which is very good. So we work very well together and uh, they're very valuable to us. I kind of enjoy making things more enjoyable for future generations that they can know what the uh, history of things and what happened before they were around, stuff like that, like knowing that they're, it's going to be there in a couple, well, hundred years time, kind of thing. The German gun will be moved to the National Museum of the Royal Navy in Portsmouth in time to join the centenary exhibition, 36 Hours, Jutland 1916, the battle that won the war. That's opening on the 19th of May. This is Shan Robbins for That's Solent. <laughs>